Hey, this is Andrew with Angler Bangle. Today is Easter. I thank God every single day I wake up for another day in the beautiful world he created. Um, I'm going to do something crazy today, and I'm going to go fishing. I am going to go fishing. It's beautiful outside. Why not be fishing? And I'm going to use the Angler Bangle that I have on. Don't know what's in it. I haven't really looked. I just put it on a little while ago. So... I'm going to freestyle. I'm going to drive. If I see a body of water that I think there might be fishing, I'm going to stop there and fish in it and see if I can catch something uh, with whatever's in this. So um, I'm going to get there and I'll see y'all when I do. Out here on Norris Freeway looking for a creek or a section of the Norris Lake. And I'm going to stop there. Beautiful day. way to get down to it. I might have to pass. Ah. So I just passed this creek. Uh, it looks like there's a little place to park. Uh, right up here, I turned around. I'm coming back. It's called Hines Creek. Hines Creek. And I'm gonna try to go fish out there. Maybe Let's see if I can catch something. Yeah, there's a little park. Looks like there's a little space to park right here. We're gonna see if we can catch something. Just for my warning, tampering with this facility is a federal offense. So, as tempting as it is, I'm not going to get inside that gate and go crazy with the mechanicals. <laughs> so, we're out here at a place called Hines Creek. Um, it's right off of North Freeway. There's a bridge right here. And there's another structure right over here i'm gonna try to fish in the bank looks good looks pretty deep maybe i can't even see the bottom so we'll see if there's some fish in here i'm gonna get this uh, angler bungle off take it apart and we're gonna work some magic so in this particular angler bangle this is the lunker it's got a black grub in it it's got some beads in here there's a fly gold gold jig head here it's got the line and an extra hook and looks like aluminum foil uh, pink grub and then it's got another bead it's got a safety pin and a little hook and two split shots we're going to get this thing apart and get it going on all right, broken down, here is everything. Here's the fly, the smaller hook, the jig head, the bigger hook that we have, the uh, safety pin, uh, the two beads, two split shot. We have a pink and a black grub. We have our aluminum foil. We have our line, bobber, and that's all we need. And I've got my Bear Grylls Gerber knife. I don't recommend eating it. It tastes like poo. So now that I have the angler bangle broke down, I'm going to look for something I can use as a pole. A little sapling, a stick, something. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of stuff out here. And also, I'm going to look for some live bait because live bait's good. So there's a little place right here where... It looks like it was washed up where it had flooded this creek and left a lot of debris. Uh, there's a beaver stick and it had this piece of bamboo. Now, it's not like ideal because it's kind of bent and a little dry, but 
I'm gonna see if I can make it work, catch a fish with, and uh, yeah, we'll see. I think right up under that bridge might get one. So here is my setup, my bamboo pole. There's my line down to my bobber, which I have just uh, found a little piece of stick, put in there, and a hook. And I think I'm just gonna try to find some bait. See what I can find. See what I can do. I just flipped that. It's actually a recliner, not a couch. But I didn't see any worms up under there. I don't look like it's been here too long. So there's a couple logs right here. They might have some. Let's see. Please no snake. Oh, whoa, look at there. Look at that guy. There's a worm right there. There's another one. Let's see if we can catch anything with these guys. Why am? So we did catch a little brim. Check him out. Only on stuff using the angler bangle. That's right. So I caught that one little brim on um, a grub. A little white grub that I found under a limb over there. And we used to call them chicken chunkers. I'm not exactly sure what kind of grub it is. Maybe some kind of moth or something. Now, I was trying to fish over there under the bridge, but there's a probably about a two pound bass just sitting there, and he wouldn't eat that grub. Uh, but I'm going to try this little Cleo here spoon and see if I can catch him or catch his big brother. Well, fish number two, it's a brim. We call them little rock bass because they have a larger mouth than a regular brim, but they weren't eating, uh, that bass wasn't eating on that spoon, so I put this crappie jig on and caught this guy. See you, buddy. So my goal was two fish at that little creek back there, and I caught two fish. One on the angler bangle setup, one on my little ultralight rod and reel. So, I'd have to be stoop, 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 a dummy not to go to Clint's because it's only about four miles away. So that's where I'm about to go. I'll try to see if I can catch a trout. Who knows? Lanny Wilson has a heart like a truck. Down here at the clinch. Just a beautiful place. Let's see if we can get on some trout. Water's a little shallow right now. So I might have to go up closer to the dam, but we'll see. Got me a little trout here on a spoon. A little brown. right so i caught that one brown trout on the spoon just a minute ago i was about to head upstream and there had to have been a 90 year old man pulled up beside me in his truck we got to talking and uh you know he said i don't normally do this but if you want directions to this place i'll tell you i said well he said i'd love to have directions to it and it's it's his honey hole it's his secret spot and uh, i felt very very honored that he shared that with me. So, I'm gonna go there. You know, I love old people. They don't make them like that no more. So, let's see if I can catch something.
So I'm headed back from the Clinch River. Had a successful day. Two brim, four trout. Uh, one of those brim I caught on the angler bangle setup. The largest trout that I caught was 13 inches. I gave that to a group of guys that were having trout for dinner. I went to the old gentleman's honey hole he told me about. I got a lot of bites and I hooked up on something huge. I don't know what it was, but it was big. It was running parallel to the bank. I had it on for about 10 seconds. I turned it and it spit my hook. So, you know, it's the way it goes. I was using that Trout Magnet SOS two pound line and it didn't break it. So that stuff's phenomenal. You need to get you some. Also, you need to get you an angler bangle. They work, they're fun, why not? All right, y'all have a great day.